At the annual meeting of the American Psychiatric Association, the hot topic was changes to the DSM-5. Dr. Rodrigo Munoz led a session about mental health care in prisons. He said there's a dire need for more resources and improved diagnosis to treat and protect the mentally ill in prisons nationwide. We went to do, this, do justice to the prisoners having diagnosis that represent not only the primary disorder but also the different accessory diagnosis that make the picture complex and give individuality to each patient. The, the patient, or many patients, have antisocial personality. Well, that's far from the whole picture. Uh, probably a better discrimination uh, uh, would, would indicate that the patient has suffered schizophrenia, uh, depression, drug addiction, a learning disability, an antisocial personality. But in, among all of them, the psychosis and the accessory diagnosis related to psychosis may be the most important. Dr. Marsha Goyne added that mentally ill prisoners fall through the gaps and are often left vulnerable to manipulation. The, the mentally ill are dispropor disproportionately represented among the victims of rape. They are extra sensitive to the everyday problems of prison life, and they are massively overrepresented among the prisoners in punitive administrative segregation or lockup. So we have a, a back and forth. I mean, there isn't room in the state hospitals, and they don't want to take them anyway. Uh, people who have you know, committed a crime, and yet we see all these people uh, that are deinstitutionalized, they steal, a, they're out on the streets, they steal a shopping cart, they are sent to the jail, they learn how to get, if they're not already on certain drugs, they get on, they get on uh, in the jail, as, as Dr. Munoz has shown, they get on terrific um, substance abuse. Dr. Munoz called on psychiatrists and the APA to step up their efforts to campaign for better mental health resources and to educate law enforcement on the challenges they face. With Clinical Psychiatry News, this is Francis Correa.